Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So, winter vacation is over, which means a lot of homework, a lot less free time, and homework. Ugh. Also, it means dropping CPM, so if you're a channel, yeah, just the end of winter just kind of sucks in every way possible. Also, midterms if you're in school, but let, let's, let's be more positive because of video. And so, let's start with some suggestions from the last video, which two actually go nicely together, and they are uh, fling a star by the solar system and heat up all the planets. Hey, guess what? Flinging a star by the solar system will heat up all the planets, whether by supernova or just by that star being stupidly large. Um, let's use a blue star. Let's switch things up. We'll use Rigel and we'll go still and plop. There it is. So, what are we going to see changing? First off, things are getting very hot around Rigel. We're already burning up some meteors. Um, let's see how this is affecting the climate on Earth at least. Oh, Earth is already dead. <laughs> well, that was fast. Um... The sun is starting to be pulled towards Rigel. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Earth already got... Ooh, I think we could fix this if we turn up the albino. It is a little bit... Oh, even all the way did not... It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Uh, no. <laughs> even with climb off. Shh, charm. Calm yourself. Okay, so... Let's see if there's any way we can save Earth here. Um, we could get rid of all of the greenhouse gases, uh, or we could just remove the atmosphere. We'll just re remove part of the atmosphere, you know, like half. That'll cause the heat to be held in a bit less, you know, it'll be a lot harder to breathe, slash impossible to breathe, but who needs to breathe? No, we are not not very successful, and this is probably because Albedo uh, messes that up anyways. Now, as we're going closer and closer to Rigel, we are speeding up. Actually, we're speeding up almost faster than uh, Saturn can keep up. We are moving very quickly, but they're all being attracted. Now, they're actually more attracted to Rigel than the Sun. I really hope I'm not pronouncing that wrong, Rigel. What if it's like Regal? Shoot, I just never mind. Um, now everything is starting to really get warm. The Earth is sitting at about 286 degrees. Oh, it's actually staying pretty constant, even when getting really close. I'm not sure that's accurate. I think that may be because I put the albedo so uh, stupidly high. Here's what uh, this star would look like if you were on Earth right now. Yeah, let's just turn off the trails and labels. And yeah, that's what the night sky would look like. It's not really night because it's blindingly bright out. And uh, let's just jump right off of Earth and zoom out. We're going to very quickly also uh, put the Elmido back at a normal 0 0.3. And we're going to let Charm out of the room because she's getting angry. Okay, so continuing onward, let's see how this affects Earth. Earth is now at 3,000 degrees. Okay, so I did succeed in warming everything up. And the sun actually <laughs> didn't hit. It got flung around and is now going... Doo -doo -doo. Actually, pretty slow. Uh, compared to light speed, but very fast compared to what we consider fast. Yeah, we're going about 40 kilometers per second slowing down because we're about to go on a return trip. Um, the Earth is actually still orbiting the Sun, which is impressive considering how much it's went through. And things are beginning to slow down and cool down. Earth is actually cooling down if I can find the exact number 
Uh, the sun is also beginning to turn around and start returning to the other direction. Um, yeah, the Earth is only at 300 degrees, which isn't that bad compared to thousands. Uh, but now we're moving back, and I think this is it. Earth, uh, not Earth. The sun is going to hit, Rigel, and there is going to be a boom. Maybe not. No, we're just going to zip by again. <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to end this now because this is going to keep zipping by over and over and over. So let's go on to the next suggestion. Someone said to freeze the sun. Um, okay. I'm going to bet nothing will happen, it'll just go back to its normal temperature, but maybe something will happen. Mm, uh, happened. Uh, happened. Gen oh. Well. Um. Well, the sun is now very dark. I mean, honestly, it, it is very dark. Very, very dark. We're sitting at absolute zero. Will it still heat up the planets orbiting it? <laughs> Asking the important questions. Um, I think this is just from the Rosh limit, honestly. I think I'm a bit too close. So let's move out pretty darn far. Let's see if this is still heating up Earth. Okay, so... Yes. We are actually heating up Earth, even when the sun itself is at absolute zero. I think we may still be way too close. <laughs> so let's try one more, going a bit further away. Actually, there's a very easy way to do this. We can go view. Habitable. Uh, zone zone there we go if we put earth here it technically should be where earth normally is supposed to go and yeah earth is cooling down but not as much as you would think this is 10 days a second so I think that the Sun is actually still radiating quite a bit of heat even when it's frozen so yeah Although this doesn't look normal, I think this may all have been changed uh, by what I've done. So let's look at the normal star view zone. Yeah, normally you have blue at the end, so we just completely messed up everything. Um, the Earth is normally sitting at about 100,000, 200,000, 300,000-ish, 200 50 that's not thousand that is in the millions <laughs> I was just trying to see what the normal was so that's thousand shoot with the number slanted like that it's actually hard to read uh, maybe a hundred million kilometers one two three yeah that's a hundred million kilometers so 250 million kilometers is what we should have it at, which I think we actually did put it out that far. It should have been freezing faster, and there shouldn't have been a habitable zone around the uh, sun. So let's go on to the next suggestion. Fixing Zar. Oh, yeah, Zar. Uh, that planet absolutely no one cares about. Jeez, Mac. Calm down. Nah, I will fix it, though, because I remember... What was I supposed to do to fix Zar? I thought I already fixed this. It was supposed to be gray and black. Yeah, I've already done this. Why do you keep asking me to fix it? It's already done. <laughs> Okay, on to the next suggestion. I 
Explode Jupiter with Earth orbiting it. Okay, that sounds doable. Um, let's just create a new simulation for this. Add Jupiter, plop, Earth, plop. Get rid of all the labels and stuff. And now we're going to use power. Explode. Bam. We're going to slow down time so that we can see the amazing explosion. And here we go. Instantly getting really bright. And we're going to start seeing material flying out now. And Earth is doing fairly well. Uh, only 26 degrees. I mean, that's pretty high. But it's not high to the point where... gonna switch it to Fahrenheit so I was a hundred percent sure of what I was saying but compared to the normal temperature to earth in this game it's not too okay we're dead yeah I was about to say it's it was hot there and it wasn't like too bad but um this this is death um now the surface of the earth is actually being ripped off along with now the atmosphere in the ocean there goes the oceans uh, in this giant stream of matter, which actually is going all the way back here, very, very far. Um, and now it's stopped. Earth is shrinking because it's been vaporized somewhat. And what we're going to be left with is, uh, this has got to be almost the size of the moon, I'm going to say. No, <laughs> much smaller. I didn't want to guess too small, but... Yeah, we're talking eight hundredths of the moon. Um, very, very small compared to real Earth. And it's not really going to cool down either, is it? No. Let's convince it to do that. No? <laughs> I think it may be kind of bugged out. I cannot cool it down. and It's kind of flickering. So we're going to assume, yeah, that's it. Um, that is what's left over. And last up, someone has requested a moon versus Earth with the new crater system. I think I already have, but you know what? It's cool <laughs> because it always looks awesome. Moon. Uh, that is not the moon. That is Earth. And then moon. Bam, 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 bam. Slow it down. And here we go. Okay, let's let this... Let's get it moving. Jeez, that was going pretty slow. It's not very exciting if nothing moves. I've gotten very good at pressing spacebar before things hit. I'm so used to accidentally going too fast and missing a great shot of the Earth getting destroyed. And here we go awesome and let's see what happens after all of these craters go in so we can definitely see the marks from the craters um i'm still trying to figure out whether the water goes into them yet um i've done some experimentation and i've gotten like different results every time <laughs> maybe there's a series of micro updates i've just been missing they've been slightly tweaking it I seriously doubt that. Okay, now we're going to let Earth cool down. And... Well, when the Earth is ice, it is really clear that there's craters. Jeez. Those are obvious. Those, those could give you trypophobia. <laughs> the Earth literally is just a ton of holes all over the place oh man 
that that has been really messed up. Um, let's let's heat things up a bit. And yes, the craters are filling with water. <laughs> okay, so I was correct. They did change it from the video I made on the craters specifically, and the water is filling the craters. So everything is working as it should be. Good. That makes me happy because I don't have to complain about anything. <laughs> and a good chunk of Australia gone too. Okay. That is actually great. Oh, does that mean we can actually draw a happy face in things? Okay, let's try to draw a happy face on America. Shoot. No, that doesn't work. Oh my god, it's not letting me shoot things. I declare that I should be able to shoot things. Yeah, like that. And explosions. Like that. Congrats. That, that was good. That was a good explosion. Okay. So, we're going to end that video right there, or this video, not that video, I'm not talking about this video in the third person, sorry about that. Um, and please like and subscribe, uh, don't forget to, uh, watch out for the next video. I feel so cheesy saying this, but, you know, you gotta do it, or else, you know, eh, I wonder if you really have to ask. I wonder if most people just like and subscribe without thinking about it but a lot of people I know don't understand the importance of it although liking isn't that important but subscribing is pretty important but I feel that at some point YouTube will use liking in their algorithms at some point they will realize that it's the right thing to do come on YouTube hashtag make YouTube great again oh geez uh, I'm getting too far into Keemstar slash leafy slash news channels uh, territory here PewDiePie. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go now. See y'all next time. And I'm a